When I came out here, you know, to USC for the first time, I think the thing that I immediately noticed was the people and the energy. You know, the people at USC are just so passionate about everything that they do. You know, they want to be the best. There's no, you know, hiding that. Anyone I met, their passion was radiating off of them. They were fired up. When we all got here freshman year, it was like a huge shock. Uh, not only a culture shock, but being actually across the country from all your family and friends. And every single one of us, especially in our class, um, there's a ton of girls and we were all completely different. I think it's just a good time to experience a new area. So I think being in California for college is a great opportunity to just get away from home. I'm a Jersey Shore girl, so obviously the beach is awesome. I love it. Our team, a bunch of us have surfboards, so we'll jump in five cars and head over to the same beach and uh, meet up and spend the day there. So that's something that's kind of special for our team. It was kind of frustrating growing up and playing lacrosse in Northern California, and I kind of had to start looking for coaches and looking for girls to play with. And it was always kind of an active search to find someone else that was kind of good enough to practice with or good enough to play with. So I assumed I would kind of have to go to the East Coast as soon as I got kind of competitive about lacrosse. So I definitely spent a lot of time going back East. And the more that I kind of did that, the more I kind of appreciated home. And what was different about getting to stay in California was rather than just being, you know, one random kid from California who was good at lacrosse that got to go out um, back east, I could instead, you know, stay here and kind of represent my own state. When I was recruiting Michaela, you know, I knew she was it was a special player. You know, if you see her on the field, I mean, she is tall, she's athletic, she's fast, she's strong, she's all these things. But you, you can tell that that she had this, you know, something about her, this edge that you know was really going to translate at the next level. But I think, you know, like anyone, she went through a little bit of a struggle. I spend probably the most time with Michaela. She's an, uh, an attacker, a low attacker, as well as a draw specialist, which are kind of my focuses and when we first set out I told her it was going to be pretty much anywhere from four to five times a week we're going to go before we're going to go after practice kind of like what I did we would work together but then I would see her in the weight room I'd see her on the field when we weren't together and it wasn't just draws she was you know working on her shooting and then doing draws in between and you, you tell her one thing's not good, she's going to do it until she perfects it. She also has a really good understanding of her teammates. You know, she knows that she would not be able to do some of the things she, she does without the people around her. We walk to practice and to classes together. Like, we, we're probably never really apart. And something that helps that is kind of between classes, we'll come and we'll do meals together in our athlete meal center. And we'll hang out in our locker room between classes. And our coaches' offices are 10 steps away from our locker room. So we can come in here during the day for board and, and kind of hang out with them. My name is Devin Wills. I grew up in Denver, Colorado. I played at Dartmouth. I uh, graduated in 2006. I've been on the U.S. team since 2003. I played in the 2009 World Cup and the 2013 World Cup. And now I'm here at USC coaching. Everybody here is treated equally um, in terms of what sport you play. There's no real hierarchy. And that was something that was really incredible to me, that everybody has access to the facilities, to the you know, nutrition staff, dietitians, athletic training, it's just an incredible place. The staff that we are surrounded by and the equipment that we are surrounded by and like everything that we are given because we're athletes, we have so many people that are willing to like give a helping hand. They want us to feel as at home as possible and they give us everything that we need to feel that way. This area is really where we spend 80% of our time. I feel like just this, this building. So we all study together over in our um, athlete study area. And I really have no regrets coming out here and it's just a choice that I'm really happy I made because if you were gonna ask me freshman or sophomore year of high school uh, before I made that decision, if I would ever think about going somewhere or playing right away and I would have said no to you. So I'm just super happy I made that um, choice and I couldn't ask for anything better than uh, going to school out here. I am extremely passionate about you know lacrosse and, and, and the girls on this team and seeing that same passion and excitement and drive from everybody that I encountered here, you know, that's what you want to surround yourself with every day. I would say you kind of have to come visit and kind of see it for yourself. This team is just as competitive as any team on the East Coast and we're ready to show that and I think we have been. Um, they're
mature group in the sense that they know when it's time to really focus. Uh, and as we told them from day one. The scout guys, the second string guys, they pitch in. They demonstrated everything that Maryland did, or at least that we thought Maryland was going to do.